What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, it's me, it's the Audible Blink, and I'm back after a long hiatus for whatever. And I'm back with, ooh, check this out, OneDirectionFanFiction.com! What? Oh. That's oh, gonna be good! Let's go to random story. Sincere Heart. Oh, registered users only mature 13 plus. Love will tell us registered y users only. A Rhapsody. What the? I don't want to log in. No. <laughs> no. Plus. Fine. So that was stupid. Um, I just go to a different one, I guess. Uh, here's one. Quotev.com. Slash story. Slash one plus direction plus fanfic. Uh, okay. Let's see. Let's try something the stupidest that I can think. The stupidest that I can think of. Ooh, Trapped to Die. Look at that beautiful freaking cover art with the pink and the black and the seen hair and the dyed bullcrap. I hate you and I want you to die. I want you to die. I feel rage and I love it! Okay, back to business! We're back to business. <laughs> Okay, screw it. So I have to read. I have to read, and I'm done. Quotev.com slash story slash five four nine six four seven three. In case you wanted to type that in yourself. Trapped to die by uh, Van M three three three. Chapter one chosen. I'm Area Roseblood. Oh, it felt good that that happened just straight up. Area Roseblood. The word just flows through you. I live in a world where nothing can be the way you want. You can't have family, you can't trust anyone, not even yourself. Why? I'm interested and I will bet you that you don't know. You, you'll you never tell me what, what that means. Today was a day that everyone would remember. The reapings. This was it. The moment in my life where I would find out if I was to live or die. I squeezed my best friend's hands, Annabelle, Victoria, and Jenna. All three of them at the same time. The only people I could even call family, even though you're technically not supposed to trust them. I'm having a hard time getting through the first paragraph. I feel like I kind of want to vomit. All the people in the whole city were lined up to see their future. I had one ballad in that oversized box on the stage. My friends had more than ten. I was innocent. A loud crack struck my ears as I, thin, tall, tall, thin man, walked onto the street stage to decide our lives. Which still makes no sense. The tension in the air was indescribable. That's when my world turned upside down. The man didn't even introduce himself. He just stuck his hand right into the box. My breath hitched as everything slowed down. I knew that two boy bands would be involved in this mess. I didn't know which ones, but I knew it would be absolutely horrifying. The man spoke out one clear name. Jenna! The only one that exists! My world just broke. We all looked at her as she was silent. While she was being silent, we looked at her. Mm, there's a verb tense problem right there. I don't have a shirt on. Yeah, I'm attractive. <laughs> Kinda. She marched up to the stage quiet as possible. She never wanted to show her feelings. She was the strongest girl I knew, but this was tearing her apart. A single tear flew down her face as she looked at her three best friends. A single tear. Oh, I'm just cracking up. What I was about to do was pure insanity, but I couldn't let her go alone. I knew the rule, make a sound and you're coming with. I took a deep breath, swallowing my last bit of fresh air. No, I won't let you. I was cut off. Cut of. You could at least try. As something, no some, one, lunged at me. A trapper. I fell to the ground as I felt myself being dragged onto the stage. You don't, those two things are mutually exclusive. You cannot do both of those at the same time. Everything in the whole universe didn't matter anymore. I was going to die. I stood up straight next to Jenna. Everything wasn't all right. Die, you freaking retard! What you had to tell us that for, you piece of crap? I hate you. Lean man grabbed another name from the box. Victoria. I screamed on stage. 
No other... N she screamed, what was happening? Question mark, explanation point. I don't know. The author won't tell us. You and I are in this predicament together. <laughs> I was whipped by a long strip of leather. That's it? Okay. I was whipped by a long strip of leather this time. You have given us nothing. Nothing that would make this a good story. No society, no story, no backdrop, nothing. Not even emotion. Just, oh, I can't wait to read the rest of this. <laughs> nothing mattered. The world was falling apart. The rest was a blur. All I knew was that Annabelle wasn't coming with us. I was glad. One of us would be all right. One of us wasn't going to die. She was going to live, right? No, 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 just no! I was wrong! Hannibal stalked up to the state, dragging Victoria with her. Why would she do this? Why would I do this? We were all going to die. Now it was the boy bands that are allowed to exist in this hellish universe. Maybe they specifically kill boy bands and their fans. In which case, not, not quite a hellish universe. Now was the boy bands, no D. The teams that were most likely stronger and more important to all of us. One Direction, Five Seconds of Summer. They walked up to the stage. Great, just perfect. I was going to be killed by the people I loved. The only people I ever cared about. Dead, gone forever along with me. Please let there be comments. Oh, God, I need there to be comments. Please, Christ, let me do it. Oh, good. I love this story. This story keeps getting better and better, OMG. I love it. Please keep writing with a W. Smiley face. Lots, lots of really, really good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Melodrama, teen angst, a complete lack of understanding in the literary arts, and I love it. I love it. I'm back on top of things this time, baby. And you know what? No, I still have time to do stuff, so I'm, I'm just going to read the second chapter too, but I'm going to read it like legit. Why? I don't regret anything. I will die, but it's better than losing everyone I love. If I did, what would be the point of living? Why did you do it? Jenna asked me while she just flew down her eyes. More tears, but they weren't down her cheeks. They were... I can't stop making fun of it. They were flying down her eyes! We were thrown onto a train of the games. I had no answer to that except one. So you just lied to us, and not even in a very clever way. I can't loose any of you. You know that, right? She nodded her head. If she can get through this, we all can. Lesbian romance? It's the only thing that would freaking save it, I swear to God. Annabelle and Victoria came into the room, Annabelle forcing a small. What? At least we get to meet One Direction in five seconds of summer. Of course, Ab Annabelle being herself tried to cheer us up, but she was right. As if on cue, the boys all walked into the room. Perfect faces, perfect eyes, perfect hair. The worst story. That it's worse than the other one. The other one was just boring exposition. This one goes right along with the crap. It doesn't even have a pretense. It knows it's garbage, and it's loving it. Hello, loves! Oh, he's gonna be, he's gonna be Gordon Ramsay. If I can do his voice. Can't do his voice, never mind. Hello, loves! Harry smiled, he's gonna be cockney. Smiled cheerfully, showing, uh, showing of his dimples. How could he be so happy right now? He probably thought he would win. I wouldn't be surprised. We all force a smile black. black. <laughs> How are you so happy? Victoria blurted out. Why was that girl so straightforward? I, although I did want to hear this. <laughs> we just have to live in the moment. Yes, only one of us is going to live. But for now, we have to be happy while we can. Live in the moment. Lewis sat down across from us girls as he spoke. The rest of the boys took over the couch. I guess, Jenna murmured, her head hiding behind me. The entire head behind the entire you. Let me see your face. I, I don't think he's British, so I gave him a something. A Ashton boldly said, whatever the crap in Ashton is. A little startled, Jenna stood up sitting next to me instead of... A little startled, Jenna stood up sitting next to me instead of behind me. That's the most confused sentence. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> oh god! Oh god! Whoa. <sighs> okay. So, um, that was the, uh, Windows and Sighting guy. I uh, hope you enjoyed that, uh, huge, beautiful mic clip. Um. 
Okay, here we go. Let's get back to the story, huh? I really, I really want to finish this. I want to, I want to feel the, um, I want to, I want to, I need to know what this climax is, honestly. <laughs> Let me see your face, Ashton boldly said, a little startled, blah, blah, blah. He grinned as Jenna just gave him one of those retarded, confused face. Hmm. Well, I know I'm gonna die. She's the announcer this time around. I said casually, they giggled as did I. I guess he was right, live in the moment. So, you guys have any special talents with weapons? Annabelle asked. They all nodded a no. They all nodded a no. I noticed Liam and Zane sitting fairly close together and holding hands. Hmm. Gay. Gay, gay, because fan service. Ooh. I have a question for you. I said curiously. Callum raised his eye. What the crap? Who names your child Callum? Raised his eyebrows. I have one for you, too. He spoke in a curious matching mine. Curious tone matching mine. You first. I grinned. Callum was kind of cute. Shut up. We're all going to die. <laughs> Do um, Liam and Zane have a thing? If the answer was no, this was going to be awkward. Well, duh. Callum laughed his adorable laugh. <laughs> Z Ziam, Ziam, what the f- Ziam, what the crap is a Ziam? Liam and Zane, right? Oh, I'm gonna freaking die. They started cracking up as I blushed like crazy. Oops. Okay, my turn. Yay, I thought. Why did you come with Jenna? Why did you come with Gemma? I couldn't live my life knowing that I didn't have one of my best friends. So if she was going to loose her life, so was I. I spoke boldly, trying to sound confident. Stop saying that, you Luke yelled at me. I think he's one of the ones, I don't remember. Stop saying what? I was so confused. You keep saying they're going to die. Well, we are too, plus you don't know that you're gonna die. You might win. Then what? I was astonished. Of course I was going to die. <laughs> Question mark, exclamation point. Nobody would care if I did die, but if they did, so many people would be depressed. Oh, but if they died, so many people would be depressed. I just sighed. How could they understand? How could they understand? Well, that's the second chapter. It's kind of boring, but the next one will be good. You know why it's boring? Because you don't have talent. And that's not a rude thing to say. It's a factual thing to say. And with that, I'm going to leave it to us see to, uh, le next time. So, let's have... Um... <laughs> Whatever was playing right there. And, uh... Till next time, folks!